Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about real and fake diamonds. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Well, let's find out if it's real. When I first found this thing, I grabbed it and said, wow, that's fake. <laughs> that's costume jewelry or something. So I threw it in a drawer and um, didn't think about it at all. Um, and I just came across it recently and I decided, okay, well, I'm cleaning this drawer out. I'm going to throw it away. And I was like, oh, for the heck of it, one thing I know about diamonds is that they scratch glass. So I took it and I had a beer bottle while I was cleaning out this drawer and I put it against the glass and there you go it scratches the glass and then I thought huh that's the only thing I know about diamonds so I should probably look this up and it turns out that even man-made diamonds um, can scratch glass they have a hardness of 8.2 or something so I looked up other ways to test if this was a diamond. Take a glass of water or a Tostitos jar and you drop it in here. A real diamond will sink right to the bottom and a fake will float in the top or maybe in the middle and then drop. So let's see what happens. And that sank right to the bottom. So, you're saying to yourself, whoa, that's a diamond. I mean, if you look at the size of this thing, it's huge. And if this was a real diamond, I'd be doing pretty good. It'd be worth thousands. Um, turns out that this isn't a definitive test either. Um, diamonds or fake diamonds with a large mass like this one can pass this test. So that test is out. Another thing you can do is take a newspaper or a book like this. And if you take the stone in question and you put it down on the page over the letters. And if you look through the stone, you shouldn't be able to make out any letters or anything. A real diamond bends light in different ways and you really would not be able to see what you're seeing here. It would look blurry. Another thing about fake diamonds or cubic zirconias or moissanite or um, another type of stone that's made to look like diamonds is there are natural imperfections in real diamonds. And um, by magnifying this, of course, a lot of you aren't going to have a magnifying glass, um, but you can take what's known as a jeweler's, jeweler's loop and take a close look at this. Let's see if we can put this up to the camera. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So if you were able to get a close enough look at the stone in question, you could look for imperfections. And if the stone looks too perfect, it's probably fake. And some of the cuts will be more uh, round and not as defined and that is because a real diamond is a much harder stone than the fake diamonds and you just can't get that crisp cut um, but that's hard to tell you know a trained eye could tell that um, you're probably not going to be able to tell that another way you could tell is if this is a, in a really nice expensive setting this is probably a real diamond uh, that's not always the case, of course. Um, you could pay, put, you know, put a fake diamond in there if you wanted, um, but it's not likely. A lot of these are like things that, okay, this is how you tell, but also it might not be true. So the real test is, and I want to warn you that you shouldn't do this because a lot of um, real diamonds have those imperfections that I was talking about. And 
uh, a jeweler will go in and fill in like cracks and stuff and this could undo the um, what has been done to fix the diamond but they say that if you heat a diamond up for about 30 seconds under fire and put it in water it will be just fine other than the damage that it might cause to the the fixing of the imperfections but a fake stone will explode and that's why I really want to do this video because I want to see this thing explode even though it's so pretty but if you really want to know for sure if your stone is a real diamond or a fake um, you need to bring it to a a trusted jeweler that knows what they're doing not some guy on YouTube like me that just wants to see this stone explode but here we go anyways okay we have fire we have our Tostitos jar full of water let's heat up the stone in question for about 30 seconds I'm gonna put it right in the flame turning black already. Hopefully these tweezers don't get too hot. Let's see what happens. First try, no explosions, but you can see this thing lost all of its luster and it's fragmented. Oh yeah, this thing is toast. I think that's a pretty good sign that that's not a diamond. But I'm not giving up. Let's try and make this thing explode. Okay, round two. I'm gonna hold this longer. I wish I had a torch or something, but this is about all I can do. So, hold it under there longer. Try and get it more hot. See what happens. All right, round two, unsuccessful. All right, so round two of fire, unsuccessful at exploding this thing, but it really is not looking good. Look at it on the inside. The outside still has like nice lines and everything. That's, but on the inside, you can tell it's just like crumbling. So since I don't have a blowtorch or anything, uh, I want to make this thing explode, so I'm going to go ahead and smash it with a hammer. 